Okay, everybody, so I just got in my Gladiator grill. I uh, actually, I, I got it in a couple weeks ago and then sent it in to get it painted. Um, had it color matched um, my uh, 2015 Jeep Wrangler JK uh, with, uh, it's got the anvil paint job on it, as you can see. So um, I'm gonna be installing that in, uh, in a minute. And um, I'm sure it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Anyways, um, this is it. What I've done is I've actually taped up the front to keep it from scratching up anything when I'm mounting it. Once I mount it, then I will be removing the tape. Okay, so what I'm doing is first we have to open up the latches. Get that side, Stevie. a couple of flathead screwdrivers, two regular size ones. Give me one at least. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay, so we're gonna pop these pins off. The top one. Okay, so pretty much what I'm taking off are these pins here. As you can see, these are pushed down like this. You just have to push up the, uh, the ends like this to pop them off and then they come off. So we're going to put these aside. Once you remove, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of these. This should easily pop off. You need to pull the corners because it's got these little clips. Want to pull that side, Stevie? Bottom, at the bottom, right there. Pull forward. There you go. And then back here are the light sockets for the turn signals. So just turn those. Um, and it's as simple as one, two, and three. And that's all it is. If you look, You've got these pins that clip on here. That's all that's holding down the uh, unit here, the front end grill. So now we're going to need to pop these off. These need to come off. There's one. And these, I don't know if you can see this, but this just pushing a pin, pushing that pin. and they pop off. So we're gonna remove this one, lay it here for now. Um, I don't know if you can see this, I'll put it up here. These are just gonna snap right back in, find the hole. At least they're supposed to making me look bad. Let me do it over here. Okay, so I got them in. They took, they're a little tougher than what I thought, but they went in. Um, anyway, so now we're gonna slide this in. this in and put the light back on. Go 
that light's on, that light's on. Now we just need to find the actual pins. There goes one. There goes another one. And put in the new clips. My grill came with all new hardware and stuff, so it should be simple. There's one. There's five. So now I will be removing the masking tape that I put on. The reason why I put this on is better for you to do this, especially if you get it painted and then you go through all the trouble and then you scratch it all up trying to get it in and so just take your time you know and tape it up and you're going to be happy you did Boy, it sure did change the look of it. Um, last but not least, put the plastic trim. Goes in the front. And what this does, figure out where this is going to go. Put this down. That'll go down over time. So 
And there it is. It's as simple as that. Let me see the... Look at that. Turn on the... Uh, Turn on the car so you can see it with the halos on, Stevie. Here's the keys. I think you need those. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope, hope this video helped you guys out. It's very simple. Um, it's a great look. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Move it, move the Jeep back a little bit, Stevie. Back it up. So here's the old grill, which was nice, um, but uh, I wanted it to look crazy, like an angry, angry. And there you have it. Put on the, the uh, hazards. So there you go. My 2015. Give you a walk around so you can see what it all looks like. Anyways, this is Robert in Chandler, Arizona. Hope you guys have a good day.